What's up everybody, 915 Mag here doing a video update today on the 120 gallon reef tank. I'm going to show you a little bit different view starting off from the top. This tank is a very tall tank and it's considered a show tank just because it is like 20 something inches tall. And it being 20 something inches tall on a 36 inch uh, stand uh, makes for a very, very tall tank. It's just cool because that's the way I like it. Um, I don't really have to bend over to look at it. It's just everything is right there at the eye level. Now, I'm not going to pretend like nothing's wrong with my tank. Nothing's, you know, everything's going perfect and all that. No. Uh, last time you guys told me to get some peppermint shrimps, I did. Um, they didn't really do anything, so I decided to get one more. And uh, I picked it up from my LFS. Now, uh, the summer is here, and I want you guys to go ahead and cut your grass and all that. But uh, this is weed eater trim. I used silicone, that Aquion. Cut out some strips and put it on the garbage can. Um, the reason why is so I can tell, you know, where the five gallon mark is. I pre-filled up a five gallon uh, trash can, put the water in there, and uh, that way I could do uh, know where I'm at, you know, when I drain it and stuff like that. Now my shop vac, uh, last time I used the calc washer to vacuum uh, it out. And uh, this time I went ahead and uh, vacuumed out the return section on my uh, sump. And I, what I plan on doing, guys, is I want to hit the refugium next. And then I want to hit the skimmer section next by vacuuming it all out. I did a really good job cleaning out the uh, return pump section. I'm going to clean out the refugium. But instead of doing this during a water change, I'm just going to empty out the entire sump and then just clean it from there. In the last video, I showed you how I was slicing up the live rock. I used the hacksaw and I was just chopping into the uh, live rock to make uh, frag plugs. I did the same thing here. This is a little example. It already had like a little tiny hole and I just made it a little bit bigger with a drill bit. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it with the BSI super glue. I'm telling you guys, the BSI super glue is the best glue. It's cheap if you buy it on Amazon directly from uh, Bob Smith Industries. And just a little bit of FYI, if you have a RAS, your RAS will knock over stuff. Um, if you have things in the sand bed, it will knock it over. Also, the uh, turbo snails will knock over things. And that's why I'm putting on this uh, sliced uh, piece of live rock, just to super glue it so that it doesn't flip over so easy. The problem that I was having once it was flipped over in the sand bed, I wasn't keeping an eye on it. And so it was getting damaged. Um, I don't want my stuff to die and also I glued it on this piece of live rock so it could start plating out Start growing and as you can see it's already encrusting on the uh, frag plugs. If it starts to grow out it's going to look really good um, Right now I'm going to go ahead and record in the night mode uh, I'm going to show you with the orange gel filter and show you the tank um, The first thing I want to talk about is this anemone. This anemone I have to use a C squirt and just keep blasting the foot um, the reason why is because it started moving around all over my tank. Um, one person, you know, addressed this in my last video and uh, I was letting them know that no, I'm not punishing these anemones, but I just got to watch out for the corals because they have a awesome sting. But uh, yeah, as you can tell, this footage right here is awesome. I love how the anemone just looks. But as you can see, he's climbed his way back up towards some uh, sticks. Everything else is looking really good. Um, one of my newest pieces I picked up from an LFS. I p actually picked this coral up for like 20 something bucks. Um, and it's doing good. I really don't have uh, success with the Ghanis. But this red Ghani is awesome. It's looking really great. And I, I like it because it's not green. A lot of uh, reef tank stuff is green. And uh, pretty much your tank will get full of green real quick. And you want a variety of different colors. Not only that, but I like the flow. I can't wait to get my other RW15 hooked up. I'm thinking about taking the gyri out and just running two RW15s. Uh, let me know about the feedback about that, how you guys feel about that. And the reason why is just because an RW pushes a whole lot of water. I don't know if it's different like if you were to use an ice cap plus the um, gyri. Then, because it's like a different controller, then you could do, you know, a whole bunch of different functions or whatever but for me I want to just try the uh, two RWs and once I get that magnet then we'll get it going. Another cool thing is I love checking out this Blenny. This dude he just sits in this leather. He'll jump from the leather then he'll jump up to the Monteporas and he just 
he'll add, sometimes you'll catch him in the holes that I drilled for um, my frag plugs in the live rock. You'll see his head popping out. And, you know, he's just there chilling. I guess life is good in the reef tank. You know, aside from Aptasia, um, everything else has been okay, you know. I used to have green hair algae growing on the rocks. You know, I, I had to make some uh, DIY scrubber. You know, I connected that to my drill and would scrub the rock out. You know, but other than that, just the uh, Aptasia. So I guess I can't really complain. Um, another thing with the Aptasia guys, I got some of that, uh, what is that stuff called? Aptasia X. And I squirted it all over the uh, Aptasia. So far, it's gone away. But I'm waiting for a couple more days and then they'll probably come back super sized since I, you know, gave them that Red Sea Aptasia X. The Monoporas are doing really good. Um, the green one is plating up. You know, I really like that. For some reason, the monopora on the back is not plating up. It's like growing down. So I've had to frag that a couple of times. And then uh, I want to show you the Jedi mind trick right here off to the right. You can see where it's really nice. And then you can see where it's all paled out. Um, the reason why it's paled out there is because the Aptasia, you know, Aptasia is an ugly little anemone. It's not good for anything except stinging your corals just doing damage so I might um, make some kind of calc washer paste and then hit them again with that if the Aptasia X doesn't work and but you know hopefully the peppermint and everything like that combination works and we I'll finally win the battle on that now let's go ahead and check out the red digi that I picked up I picked this up from a good buddy uh, Corey Dale uh, 6t7 Mustang on Instagram and he's also on reef to reef uh, Budman or something like that but I picked up this red digi from him, red orange digi, and it's like one of my favorite. Um, it was almost dead, but as you can see, it's encrusting, it's doing real good. Um, also picked up a bottle of Fido, and uh, aside from the Fido, which I ran out of, I've been using Acro Power. I'm not using a whole lot of Acro Power because uh, then I get cyano issues. But I find if you use a tiny amount, I'm talking a very tiny amount of Acro Power daily, you know the colors on the uh, corals pop and they, they just do good, I guess, because of the blend of the amino acids and whatever else Julian Sprung uh, pids in his uh, Acro Power. Now, the Acro Power is pretty expensive. I bought the uh, smallest bottle because I didn't want to um, buy an expensive bottle. Like I said, it is expensive. So I bought the smallest bottle. I've just been dosing a little bit. And so far, I like it. Once it runs out, I'll go ahead and uh, order some more. Probably a, a bigger bottle later on. Check out this next bird's nest that I have. It's like green and like a pinkish. But it actually fell behind my live rock in the back of my tank. Uh, I just lost track of it. So I have so many corals sometimes that I forget about it. So if it gets blown off by a snail or, you know, the power head or whatever, for whatever reason, I'll lose it. But I found this guy, and look how big it is now. Um, it's really big, you know, and when I found it, it still had some nice color, except for the shaded areas. And as you can see, it's really growing. You can see all the white tips. You can see the green in it. Um, and hopefully it just continues to grow because it's really, really nice piece. Now these cloves, there's a tiny clove right there. There's a bigger clove right there, and then there's the same kind. Uh, the bigger clothes I picked up from my LFS uh, sea creatures, um, and I was I have been looking all over for these papaya clothes, and I finally picked them up. And these ones I did pick up for like sixteen dollars. I like the clothes, and the reason why I like them is because they do good in my tank. Um, these other clothes right here, I picked these ones up online from Cultivator Reef. Um, I've done an order for them online, a couple orders, uh, but as you can see. The color that you can see, they're awesome. They've grown real good, but that uh, little snail, like I said, snails just get in the way, knock things down, but you can see that the colors are popping on them. So I want to get some more clothes, maybe some like green clothes. Here's that other Ghani that I have. Um, it's on the sand bed because um, a snail knocked it down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue this guy in there, and I'm going to try to pit him by the uh, pink Ghani that I have. Also, these uh, blue polys that I have, you can see the little rings right there. I don't know the name of them. There's so many names now. But uh, I got these from my buddy Pedro. Uh, Pedro, also known as Mr. Beard. If you got a beard, uh, hit me up and I'll send you the link to that 
he makes beard creams and all that stuff but as you can see those are doing really good the torches on the background are doing really good i love that anemone that anemone in the background has been stains put but as you can see that anemone on the top right is moving all over the freaking place but uh, also another thing i want to talk about is the reef breeders leds they're doing really good i'm glad that i went back to led you know i'm you know this pop right here as you can see is just outstanding um and i also my duncans the duncans have never really opened up if you look at my past videos you always see my duncans closed for whatever reason but uh, they're doing really good um i i'm not really target feeding them or anything like that they're just open um which is awesome um i can't wait till i get a whole bunch of different heads on this and it just grows bigger because as long as you have a a nice dunking coral you know and it's opened up like that i think it really makes up for the piece also the uh orange little chalice that i had right there you can see how it's buried in the sand this is why i took it out and i glued it onto that rock so it can play it out and because my ras my ras i guess he's getting upset or whatever because i'm filling up his sand bed with all these different corals now for me this is the most embarrassing part of the uh tank just because of the sticks that I have right here, they're not doing so good. Um, the GSP, I actually had to trim it back because it was touching the, the acre on the right. Um, and GSP, guys, does have a pretty vicious sting. I didn't know that, but uh, I saw my uh, acro bleaching. I thought maybe my alk was dropping or spiking too high, but no. It was the GSP was touching it, and where it was touching it, it was bleaching it out really good. Now I gotta say not all of my sticks are looking like crap. This uh, piece that I picked up from uh, Tim uh, from his 125, he accidentally fragged it. And when I did the video, he asked me if I wanted it and I said, heck yeah, I'll take it. And uh, to this day, it's still alive as you can see with the polyp extension. These Armor of Gods are doing really good. I try to just keep you know a good mix of colors. I love the reds, the pinks, the purples. I try to stay away from the greens, but a little bit of green is okay. This next LPS right here is a uh, nuke green or radioactive, something like that. And it's doing really good. I picked it up from um, Aqua SD on their uh, live sale. Now this next piece right here, this little Favia, Dragon Soul Favia. As you can see, it looks really good. Um, it's a really slow grower, but it's starting to get three eyes. And I hope it just continues to grow. Something that just, I actually picked up this frag really cheap at uh, Saltwater Heaven. Uh, I haven't been to Saltwater Heaven in a while, but I need to go ahead and go back and see what they got. Now this other piece I picked up is um, from Cultivated Reef. I think it's called the Bonsai. It was really expensive, guys, but it's doing really good. It's encrusting on that rock. Some new sticks are coming out, and it's just really nice. Actually, when I got it, I think I got it kind of uh, pale. And now it's like uh, doing really good, but it's also pretty purple. Not dark, dark purple, but it's getting there, guys. The Blasto right there, doing good. Um, could be doing better. The Rock Nem. I want to get some more Rock Nems, but uh, maybe later on in a different tank or something like that. Now I was thinking about getting some new uh, Frag Racks, um, maybe for my 24-gallon. Also for the 120-gallon uh, tank. But I wanted to see what kind of frag racks you guys are using. Um, I was looking at a few different people. And these other frag racks that, the, that they're coming out with now have some kind of like uh, mechanism that holds the frag plug in place. Um, on the other end of this tank, the, some of the corals are popping out because of the flow. I don't know if you guys use a DIY egg crate like me because it's cheap, but I want a little bit maybe it's time to step it up my frag racks a little bit and get something a little bit nicer i don't know that's why i'm asking you guys um this little frag rack as you can see is just straight up a crate uh, my zoas there are looking good and actually i was thinking about moving some of these zoas over to my 24 gallon tank but then again these are doing good uh in this tank um that's a piece of uh, bird's nest that i accidentally broke from uh, tim's but it, as you can see it's already growing the utter chaos that I picked up, you know, some little green zoas, and these, these right here, these are Gavi uh, Pallies that I picked up from a buddy, and uh, he hooked it up with one head, 
Now it's already growing uh, two heads. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer to look at it for you guys. And uh, he picked these up from uh, cultivatedreef.com. And uh, on their website, though, it looks ugly, the agave. But I'm telling you guys, take advantage of it. Buy it because it's just popping. It's doing really good in this tank. I saw more of a polyp type of guy, a palyzoa type of person. Uh, I like LPS second and then SPS. I, I would like to just become um, like a SPS master, but uh, I guess that'll come later on in time. I try to keep uh, everything pretty level now that I'm dosing. Um, the thing that I'm pretty much keeping my eye on is uh, alk, alkalinity. And then once I get the alkalinity down, then I'll start moving on to the calcium and then uh, magnesium. Magnesium, you don't really have to dose that too much uh, on a doser because it doesn't uh, fluctuate a whole lot. Now this little Mystic Monty is doing really good. You can see on the edges all the uh, bright stuff right there and that's because it's growth. Um, it's looking cool and if you remember in the last video it was almost touching up this green acan and accidentally fragged it. I didn't uh, want them to touch or anything like that. Um, the other frags that I placed around I have one in my 24 gallon it's doing okay because it's uh, it seems to be light hungry and it's only being powered right now by a uh, AI Prime, non-HD. My regular green octospawn is looking pretty cool. Um, I've seen some gold octospawns and I think those ones are really nice. But this green one I picked up from uh, Saltwater Heaven uh, and it's been in my tank for a while. Um, and I just like how bubbly it gets and how it looks and everything like that. But I think a gold octospawn would be sweet. Um, if they have a red or pink octospawn, that would be awesome. And then with the green one, would just set it off right there. Let's go ahead and take another look at the Starry-Eyed Blenny. Like I said, I guess life is good right now in the reef tank. Everything is pretty stable. As far as maintenance, what I do is uh, five-gallon water changes every single weekend, right? Um, another thing that I've been doing earlier, I showed you the trash cans. And uh, I mix my salt water inside the house now. I used to do it inside of the garage, but since the garage is way too hot because of the summer, I go ahead and do it inside the house since my house is uh, air conditioned. Also, these A cans are looking really good. The candy canes are out. I love uh, watching these at night. It's usually at night or early in the morning where they do that. My uh, A cans right there, I picked those up from uh, Aqua SD. Picked them up from my LFS. I picked them up all over. And I'd like to get more acans and then just grow them out because they grow real nicely into the uh, live rock. Another thing that I want to talk about is if you're still with me, um, I know this has been a super long video, but I just felt like doing a long one today. Uh, but if you're still with me, guys, Reef Breeders is giving away um, one of their Photon version 2 LEDs. It's not the 50 inch, it's a little bit smaller. But uh, I think all you have to do is post a picture onto the forum, right? And then a winner is going to be drawn. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I'll, I'll put a link here for watching me with me the video the whole time. But you can have a Reef Breeders version 2 for your smaller tank for free if you're the lucky winner. Um, I'm going to do it. I'm going to enter. And maybe I can win and then pit it on top of my 24-gallon uh, reef tank. But like I said, I'm li I'm loving the little light. I think it's a, a good light. I'm glad I went back to LED. You know, LED plus T5 equals winner, 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 winner. All right, guys. So here it is. I'm going to show you one more full tank shot of the tank. I hope you enjoyed the uh, long video. Really appreciate you guys watching and hanging in there. And... Uh, it was fun shooting with the gel filter guy. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. You guys take care. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.